Jen. I do think, though, with with sensitivity, Jack, to your position, and I, I know it comes from your heart when you speak, this was a rally organized by white supremacists. This was the issue. This was not some gathering that turned bad or some protest that came out of the blue. You can't ignore how these events today came about. That's why it would have been important for President Trump to spoke out at the most or at the least not blame many sides. Well, I would say one more thing to add to that point. Someone is now dead. I was in New Orleans last night at NABJ, and I was looking on Twitter, and some I, I saw people joking about how these were kids with tiki torches. And fast forward 24 hours later, somebody is dead. Tonight is going to be a really important night in Charlottesville. What's going to happen tomorrow? There, there, there are a number of people who are injured. Words matter. Just folks uh, yeah, talking but, about but, the fact. But, okay. Just folks let, talking let just about say this fact. If, if I could agree with you, okay, the president should use the word white supremacist. But don't you think? that you and I as liberals and conservatives and Democrats and Republicans should be able to move past that and say, what are we going to do about Jack it? Jack Kingston, so conven excuse me. Convenient we should be able to move past white supremacy. We, Never forget. The fact, no, the people, fact that the no. president hasn't oh used it, Simone. The, me, the fact that the president really hasn't well, hold on, used Simone, that let, We'll let Jack wait, finish, then we'll let you respond. Wait, the fact that the president... I don't understand uh, Simone, come on. Hold on, one at a time. One at a time. Jack first, then Simone. Jack, finish your thought. The fact that the president hasn't used the term white supremacist, we as a people should be able to get past it and say maybe he will talk about it later on. He's going to have two press conferences this week. Why not? The rest, in the meantime, all of us pull together and try to address this. Terry McAuliffe's words were very good. You pointed out Marco Rubio's were very good. I think most politicians and most leaders have weighed in condemning this. What are we doing besides blaming this on the president because his statement wasn't good enough for everybody? I think we should look at ourselves. What can we do to stop this violence across the land? The well, president could have he, a mulligan, couldn't he? I mean, he, he has plenty of opportunities to put out another statement. Nobody's preventing him from doing that, Jack. And he had all day to do that. Uh, and and let me be really clear. Time today. <laughs> let me be really clear, because I don't want to hear anything else Jack, he's, Jack Kingston has to say specifically about moving past white supremacy. America that's not cannot what I said, move Simone. Past. I know that's what the left America, wants to say. Hold on, Jack. Let Simone, America, I'm not let let Simone make her comment. Jack, please wait. Anna, he's Simone, as long go as ahead. we agree that that's Anna, not what I didn't say. specifically noted, why can we not move past this? Why the fact that he did not it? use the Anna, term white supremacy. Hey, Jack, hold on. Jack, hold on. Simone, go we ahead. We cannot move past white supremacy in America because America has yet to reckon with I, white supremacy. I agree with you, Simone, and I would not say that. It is extremely important that in this moment, I agree folks with understand you now. that people Who, have who's died. Who's talking about that? It is extremely important that folks understand that there are people in this country who literally feel scared to leave their homes every day, not just people of color, LGBTQ Americans. And we, many there, police officers, I might of say, who's ha whose lives have been singled out. But Simone, I, would just I, I just, if I just we want to make under, sure that you and I, I, just really you want and I are one clear. Moment, not, I, I think I'm being very clear. I think it's Yeah, but you I think I was clear, clear when I said we're going to get love beyond the fact that the president didn't use folks two words. To understand that this is more than just rhetoric, that these are people's lives. Furthermore, that this march, this protest, this white supremacist gathering was put together because folks are upset, literally upset, that a, a, a vice mayor in Charlottesville saying we need to remove this monument of the Confederacy and not only this statue of Robert E. Lee, but we need to change the name of some of these parks because it's offensive to folks. Because we need to move, we, we need to actually reckon with our history in America. That is what this is actually about. And so, no, we can't move past it. If you'd like to talk about something else, let's Simone, talk about the fact. Simone, let's talk about the fact that the Confederacy. That that's what I it's was absolutely saying. not it's silly, so and I'm inaccurate. actually offended. I'm it is actually so offended inaccurate. that you are. Well, I am you are actually offended that you're trying to put words All right, in my guys. Mouth. I know that.